Kevin Smith and Netflix have royally screwed up Masters of the Universe. Revelations Part 1 was a giant bait and switch because they promoted the show to be all about He-Man, yet it was basically the Tila show. They were focusing on pushing out male characters and replacing them with females, but we've all been wondering when Part 2 was going to be releasing and if He-Man was actually going to be part of it like Kevin Smith promised. And now, we're finding out they're changing up He-Man a lot because Kevin Smith is bringing back He-Man as a goofy idiot Neanderthal. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So let's start off with this Cosmic Book News article. It says Kevin Smith appears to be bringing back He-Man as a dumb, goofy, idiot Neanderthal, which would fit perfectly with his woke Masters of the Universe Revelation Netflix animated series. I remember initially being really excited for Revelations. I was excited to see what they do with He-Man, um, you know, what this show would be about. I was hoping it was going to be good, but unfortunately it turned out to be a bit of a disaster. Once again, we have Mattel to thank for the huge spoiler as an action figure reveals the fate of He-Man in Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2. Usually companies are really upset when things end up getting spoiled, but Mattel seems to spoil a lot themselves. It says, recall how before Part 1 aired, Mattel revealed the spoiler figure for Skeletor. Regarding He-Man, the action figure reveals Savage He-Man along with Orko, two characters that died in Part 1. Now, I don't know if you all remember, but um, when Revelations Part 1 dropped, Kevin Smith had actually talked about how they were so happy they got to kill off these main characters, and they went, oh my gosh, we didn't even get to kill off He-Man once, we killed him off twice, who else was going to do that? They were basically mocking fans who were really upset that they had ended up killing off He-Man, and of course, it's not very surprising to hear they're going to bring him back in part two or season two, whatever you want to call it, but what they're doing with him doesn't seem like something a lot of He-Man fans are going to enjoy. It says, as we see in the images, Savage He-Man appears to be a Neanderthal incapable of thought, not a barbarian. As the second image below reveals He-Man attempting to think, as he is unsure of what Orko is revealing to him. I want to head on over to a Gizmodo article that shows off a couple of the images. Um, here is the box. It says, includes Orko, Savage He-Man, and then it says Revelation. Do these figures look awful by themselves? No, not necessarily. But at the same time, we know these figures uh, usually aren't that high of quality, unfortunately. And now, we've got these major spoilers for the character and for the story, and I want to read um, some of the details they added along with these images, because it's really telling to hear what they're going to do with He-Man. It says, with the full power of Grayskull unleashed inside of him, Adam gains a combination of primal rage and all of the power in the universe, the raw fury, the brutal strength, and the unbridled speed of ten He-Men. But without the sort of power to temper these mighty forces, Savage He-Man is all the strength with no intellect to control it. Of course they'd go into this with the second season just to continue to play with He-Man's image, what he represents and who he is. It doesn't surprise me at all that they've turned him into a brainless, most likely useless character. It says the barbarian version of our hero leaves his friends wondering if Adam is truly present within the transformed beast as he tears through Eternia in an uncontrolled frenzy. Luckily, Adam at his core possesses innate compassion, humility, goodness that rivals the power of Grayskull itself. Only the Prince of Eternia could wield such power and be both willing and able to relinquish it once the battle is won.
Now, if you look at these different figures, we heard with Tila back with part one, they changed her physique because they wanted her to be a more realistic warrior. And with that, they, of course, changed her outfit so it would be more fitting for a warrior. Yet this He-Man is wearing basically nothing. He's wearing less than the original He-Man does. It's more of the same hypocrisy we keep seeing over and over. They're toning down females' outfits to be more with the times, yet they've got male characters wearing next to nothing. And clearly, they're going in the direction with He-Man so he's still kind of strong but he's also really dumb as bricks because they broke the sword of power up to most likely give it to someone other than He-Man. They know without He-Man, they're not going to draw people in for another part. So they know they have to still play him up. They have to give him action figures. They have to put him in posters. And that's what they're doing here. They're saying, yeah, he might be dumb as bricks now, but at least he's in the show and he's pretty strong. This show's been all about taking the focus off of He-Man, making him dumb, making people not care about him anymore. And that's not going to happen. People are really upset that they keep promoting this series with He-Man and making people think the show's going to be all about He-Man. He-Man and it's going to be what He-Man fans want, yet they've taken these characters and twisted them to fit a narrative and it's not good. Even the Rotten Tomatoes audience score uh, hasn't really gotten any better over the past few months because right now it's sitting at a 39%. After part one, I didn't really have a lot of hope for part two, but I know a lot of people were still looking forward to it, thinking maybe they'll redeem He-Man, maybe they'll change the story up, maybe they'll actually listen to people's feedback, and I kind of knew that they weren't going to do that. Once people like Kevin Smith and Netflix have an idea in mind for a show, they're not going to listen to consumer feedback. They're going to create the product they think is going to get them views, and right now, Revelation part one is not getting a good review. A lot of people were really unimpressed with it and really upset with the direction they ended up going in with it. People are giving it two stars. Huge He-Man fan didn't like this much. It's nothing like the classic uh, animated series. This show could have been amazing, even with the spoiler alert removal of He-Man. However, Tila's response to the grieving parents of Prince Adam, yeah, 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 your child died, but I can't believe you guys didn't tell me he was He-Man, makes it pretty much impossible to see her as heroic in any way, shape, or form. I agree with this. I think that that was the worst line in the series, truly, when she's basically like, oh yeah, he might be dead, but you guys didn't tell me the truth all those years ago, so why should I help you now, which was really, really dumb. It's not a way I would have foreseen Tila acting, but of course, they changed her character around a lot. Uh, people are saying things like, I thought I was going to be watching a show about He-Man. Turns out he's barely in it. And even if we look at the new promotional art they're showing off for uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 2, He-Man is still in it. Yes, he does look a little bit different, and it does tease towards the uh, new figures we're seeing, but clearly Teela's there, Evelyn's there, Skeletor's there, and we know that uh, this Part 2 supposedly is supposed to be about Evelyn because Kevin Smith actually ended up spoiling it a few months ago. It's just really disappointing to see them take all of these amazing characters and twist them around to push a narrative and twist them around to go, look at us, we can do diversity and inclusivity and make females the focus of a show too. Tila was already an important character in Masters of the Universe. Evelyn was an important character. So why do you have to sideline male characters just to make the females more important? Clearly your story writing is not that good if you can't make the females as important as the males. But that's all that I I really had to talk about in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.